Toastmasters, most welcome guests, and our district and area people. I'm so excited you could join us tonight because we have special occasion. Who knows what it is? 30th anniversary of Calgary Paysetters. I feel so honored to be speaking tonight. I'll tell you a bit about my story because if you told me eight years ago I will be speaking tonight for Toastmasters, I would laugh at you. Well, our club was founded by Irene Murray in May 1st, May 1st, two, uh, one th 1991 not 2000, so it's 30 years ago. You know, unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to meet Irene in person, but I believe she was a great person. She had vision and mission in her mind and heart. But we are so blessed to have two speakers tonight who will tell a little bit more about Irene and stories with her. Now, fellow Toastmasters, each of us, we join Toastmasters because of a reason, right? Some of you had small reason, and some of us had big reason, or maybe embarrassing reason like myself. Some of you know my story. About 10, 11 years ago, I was asked to speak at my father's 60th birthday by my brothers. And you know what I said to them? If you make me speak, I'm leaving this party and I will not come back. And I thought, oh my goodness, Eva, did you hear yourself? In that moment, I made the decision that I have to do something, something about my speaking. Because as a fitness professional, I was asked so many times to speak at many big events. And do you know what I did? I refused. What I realized, I was holding myself back. How many of you know that? Well, I made the decision on February 2013 to join Toastmasters, actually our club. And I remember when I was asked to speak, impromptu speaking, right? I couldn't speak even for 30 seconds. I froze, I didn't know what to say. And some of our members, they remember me from the beginning. You know, these days I get quite often, you are so natural. It's impossible you were not able to speak and you were shy. You were presenting actually in the bathing suit on the stage, how could you be shy? Well, standing on the stage in bathing suit, it's completely diff different than speaking. Fellow Toastmasters, maybe you have the same story like myself. Maybe not. Maybe you joined just for leadership skills. Actually, I don't want to say just for leadership skills. Some of you joined because you wanted to improve your English. Whatever it is, it's totally fine. Because each of us, we have something to work on. When I joined Toastmasters, I didn't think my life will change completely. As a fitness professional, I quit my 11 years career and I stepped into something similar, but daily speaking. Again, if you told me that eight years ago, I would laugh at you. But you know, public speaking and Toastmasters opened my door to visiting many countries for three and a half years before pandemic. I was traveling every six months for one month, about five countries speaking. I made that decision because, you know, I was spending time with one client or I could go and speak in front of many and help many lives. I have to tell you, it doesn't take one week. It doesn't take one month, sometimes not even a year. Six months when I after six months when I joined, I wanted to quit because I thought, am I wasting my time? I'm improving so slowly. I don't have time for this to hang out for two hours and practicing my speaking. You know, I'm so grateful I never quit because I was asked to mentor. I was asked to step into club officer's role. And now eight and a half years later, I'm still here. What I realized eight years ago, I stepped in to do something for myself. When you stay longer, you realize that it's not only about you, but it's about others. Because what club gave me and all of you gave me, 
it's not only public speaking, it's not only impromptu speeches and evaluations, it's friendships and community and leadership skills and so much more I can name. Just today, actually yesterday, I wrote my speech for this and it's completely different than what I planned. Why? Because I thought, okay, I'll go tomorrow and readjust my speech. At 3 p.m. today, I couldn't get into my Word document. I called Vesna, Vesna, this never happened to me. I have Apple computers for 10 years. What can I do? Have you seen something like that? She says, let's jump on the Zoom call. We did, and within 10 minutes, she fixed it. You know what? I printed the speech and speech is completely different. So I'm so grateful because we really find friends in this club. Not one, not two, many of them. So if you came to Toastmasters for public speaking skills, trust me, the end of the story is not written because you don't know how far you can go if you stick longer than a year or two or five years. And at the end, I would like to leave you with a quote I found from Rob Brown. If you can speak, you can influence. If you can influence, you can change lives. Madam Chairperson for Toastmasters.